The announcement made by President Barack Obama about his upcoming trip to Cuba is, according to the White House, another way to keep taking steps forward in the reestablishment of relations between the two nations. Those who support the island nation see this as a victory for the Cuban people, who have endured a number of laws imposed by the U.S., which are aimed at removing the current government of the island. But this is a major step, the first president and many decades uh, from the United States to visit Cuba. Uh, it represents a victory on the part of the Cuban people to resist and to maintain their self-determination and their sovereignty. Though the visit is seen by many as historic, there are those who believe that the U.S. agenda against the Cuban government has not changed. The visit to some signifies a political tactic, which has as a final goal the downfall of the Cuban government. But ultimately, uh, they think this is about um, kind of overwhelming Cuba with, you know, an influx of people and an influx of, you know, commodities and things like that um, so that it'll weaken its revolution. But Cuba as well is also resolute that they're not going to compromise the principles of the revolution. One of the biggest obstacles that continues to stand in the way of a true reestablishment of relations is the economic blockade that was imposed by the United States on Cuba over 50 years ago. Recent negotiations have led to more flexibility in certain regulations that allow an increase in trade and travel, which demonstrates there is no need or justification for continuing the blockade on the island. I think the embargo will be lifted step by step, and by the time we reach a formal written agreement about the embargo, uh, much of what uh, the embargo has prohibited uh, will be allowed, will be going on. Taking into account the anti-Cuba campaign that has for years been the norm in the United States, a question arises. Will President Obama's visit to Cuba be only a formality used to check off another list item? Bianca Perez Telesur, Washington, D.C.